Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler and today we're playing Avorion. So this game is, um, I compare it with um, the X franchise for example. So it's a space, um, yeah, open world building game. And um, yeah, you are in this um, uh, galaxy where um, you find yourself, you, you are like, um, you're not like a character, a specific character, but you are like more like an, uh, some sort of AI, I would say. And in this sense, um, the game is, uh, in, uh, it can be also compared to EVE, EVE Online, like with these capsuleers, in the sense that uh, the capsuleers become one with, with the ship and when they are destroyed, uh, this capsule um, leaves the ship and then it can um, uh, in inhabit another ship. So it's similar in the in that sense, but also the ships uh, have crew and you can uh, hire crew. At the beginning, you uh, start with a small ship. Um, here is mine. This is like a yeah a multi-purpose ship. It's um, uh, it can do many things, but it, it's not very good at any of, the, of those things. And um, yeah, you, you um, build this ship. Um, is the, 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 the system to build the ship is, uh, they are highly customizable. Um, it's not exactly voxel, because you can um, resize the, the, the elements you add to the ship and you will see uh, further um, how it works and but it reminds me a lot of the X um, series of games where you are in these systems there are uh, jump gates and Avorion is a, a material that um, is in the center of the galaxy so the game has like a goal to it so it's not entirely um, open world I would say <coughs> Of course, the the galaxy is procedurally generated, so it has a, a great replay value. Uh, but there's a goal, right, to reach to the center of the galaxy and um, and uh, get hold of this Avorian material. So at the beginning, you um, you can try mining, you can try uh, trading and um, also salvaging or bounty hunting I, in this sense is, is um, yeah you can see it as um, elite dangerous style game but as the game goes on and you and you uh, have more resources uh, you can build more ships and then you can um, create a fleet so in the game it's uh, difficult to that a ship uh, does uh, several things because it, it has like um, it has a system like this CPU system that your your ship is um, it has a limit of uh, the for example the turrets it can handle it needs subsystems to um, control the turrets on um, if we are talking about sensors is the is the same. So what you, I think what, what the game um, wants you to do, or I, I interpret that this, this would be a, a strategy that you can adopt, is that you have um, several ships in your fleet and they are specialized in one thing. So you can have minor ships, you can have um, fighter um, or escort ships, and you can have scout ships with um, really good sensors, for example. So I think that that's what um, the game wants you to do. Um, but of course, you can have a huge ship um, that does many things. But I, I, if it, it, these ships ca can get really big if, if they really do several things. Um, 
Yes, and also is there's uh, the possibility to create stations. Uh, I find that very cool. So this is also similar to the X series where you can create stations. Um, and I will show you the um, the ship um, interface. So this is my ship currently. Um, it's relatively simple. Uh, and I have uh, some crew there. So they are the engineers, the gunners, the miners, and the mechanics. And you need this crew to be able to um, uh, to control the, the different um, parts of the ship, right? Wait a second. I, I think I'm in a collision course here. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, that's one thing. Um, then you have the subsystems, as you can see here. So, for example, you 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 have like this root block that gives you um, like the core of the of uh, pr processing of the ship. Uh, but then I have a scanner here. Some um, yeah, it's a it's a ra radar booster and I need a slot for that and then I have uh, some turret control subsystem that lets me have um, at the moment I have uh, four five turrets but for example if I wanted to to unlock this other um, subsystem slots I will have to increase the power of the ship so if I, if I want to unlock this slot is uh, 128 800 and 320 respectively so if I look at my ship uh, yeah the, the power is uh, I think 76 Also, the, 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 the ship generates um, yeah, some uh, energy and it also consumes, so you, you have to keep that in mind as well. And here you can uh, manage um, like the energy distribution in your system. So it's quite um, a special game, right? I mean, it has elements from other games, but also it, 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 it does some things in a peculiar way. So, um, we have also this um, tech tree. Um, so, you can, for example, you, you, you start collecting iron that lets you uh, acquire this uh, building of knowledge. Iron knowledge. And then um, once I um, make a second ship, I will unlock this one, and so on. This titanium. Um, and if I build a ship with five subsystem sockets, then I unlock this one, and so on. And uh, yeah, there are the other materials. Uh, if I um, build uh, with uh, or I collect these items and then build with them then I will get other things unlocked and this this the last one is a Vorion right this this um, element in the center of at the center of the galaxy and as you approach the center of the galaxy of course you will be um, it gets more difficult right here you can manage your fleet yeah, this is my inventory. Uh, and, and of course there are the missions. Then there are the different factions. So currently, um, yeah, I um, I have some relationship with the United uh, Troru Emirates. Then the pirates are hostiles, of course. And then there are other these other factions that uh, still I, I don't I haven't um, made contact with them 
So one thing I want to do now, well, I, I want to um, make a little playthrough so you get an idea of the game. So this is a mining station, but I would um, I would rather go to uh, the shipyard. I want to change something. And uh, the way the ship behaves in this game is basically it has some physics in it like uh, Newtonian physics I would say uh, with the difference that um, it always uh, you're always losing speed no matter if you have this flight assistance on or off if you have flight assistance on then um, yeah the ship uh, will try to bring uh, the ship to a stop like the, the, the thrusters will try to bring the ship to a stop every time you you thrust towards some direction so this is how it works so you have to be careful um, here because I think uh, yeah the, the thrusters um, matter where were like um, how many thrusters do you have and what type of thrusters they are and uh, if you collide with uh, objects like asteroids and if you collide with any object you you will get damage um, if you collide with the asteroids well you get damage and that's it but if you collide with a station then your reputation decreases with that faction so you have to make sure that you have um, the, the, the needed thrusters to bring the ship to a halt. Okay, so now I... So this is the building menu. So you have um, these arrows that um, show um, the direction of movement, forward movement. Ah, you can change the grid size. Oh, that that's that's nice. So yeah, I can decrease this uh, or increase. It. Yeah, nice. I didn't know this. And then you can have local snap, um, and that's cool because sometimes, for example, if I were to build a turret, um in the slope you see that it it adopts like this um, angle I find that cool and uh, for example you have um, you can build with iron you can build with um, titanium and you can build with uh, well currently I think this is uh, locked for me I cannot build with uh, nanite um, but depending on the material you're using there are different components available for uh, so for example um, the integrity field generator is not available for iron but it's available for for titanium and I find that um, really cool that they are different technologies depending on the material they have different weights, so uh, if you build with titanium, your your ship will be lighter. So yeah, like iron is like the first tier building material, and here you will be displayed like the ah sorry, the processing power is 85, the far power is 76. Okay, but this is my my current uh, processing power, so this limits. Uh, the amount of uh, slots I have available um, in the ship. Um, so, if you build, for example, I will show you um, how this works. So you you can have like this um, cube, right? I'm building with this cube, but you can change the cube and you can make it. Um, larger you can flatten it 
right and then this give you um, a lot of freedom uh, in the building of, of your ship in, in your designs and of course there are there are um, there are lots of um, things that will uh, boost uh, your your diff uh, the, the different activities you you do with a ship so like scanning and things like that so i i decided this is like um let's call this is uh the, this turret here is used for salvaging and i have i had it down here but this is really it's difficult really difficult to salvage uh, using the turret in that position so yeah th then there's this crew dynamic where you hire crew and you have to pay them a wage so yeah if you as as you go as your ship gets bigger or have more systems or you have more ships you need to hire more crew and then you need more money uh, to generate more money because uh, yeah you have to pay them uh, wages and the thing is that Oh, I won't be able to to place this here. Yeah, so you need to make money, right? Uh, doing something. Uh, there are missions, and in stations you can get missions to earn money. So, as you can see, there are, there are um, different elements. I will place this here for a moment. I think it's, it's better than where it was before. It's just that it's in front of the thrusters, but um, I don't know what's the effect of that. Ah, otherwise, if I don't want it in the way, it will look a little bit weird. But I can place it here, and that will be, I think, this better. If I had more, I will place them there. Okay, so I think... I will leave it like that. Uh, the other thing is, uh, you uh, can assign um, grouping. That's important to group the weapons in weapon groups because otherwise um, you cannot activate or deactivate their pirates. Where are the pirates? Ah, there. Well, let's fight. There you go. So, and you see that um, we have now this um, wreckage. Let's try to salvage it. And our ship got um, damage, we have to repair it. Engine booster, we got we got a uh, we got some I don't know if this is salvage or, or they are it's some sort of um, bounty we got. So I only have two turrets uh, weapon uh, turrets uh, so I need the, this is the salvager um, turret. And let's salvage the ship. I think salvaging is in my experience salvaging is not very um, profitable I, I got that impression oh look but there there is some 
this is uh, the best you can do like when you salvage if they drop a, a subsystem then, then this is this is good but until now um, I haven't been able to really salvage more much um, subsystem so you see that I get uh, like titanium scrap and so on and some some uh, parts of the salvage is really hard to To destroy or to dismantle so let's go for the bigger wreckage here and by the way um, this uh, X that you see sometimes well that you're seeing here is the velocity vector the prograde um, so this is uh, an option it's optional so you you may or may not um, have it I, I lost the salvage uh, the salvage torrent I don't know why so yeah basically I mean if you you could salvage to get some um, scrap like for example if you get um, titanium lots of titanium scrap that's fine because titanium is not so common but salvaging for iron scrap I, I think it doesn't make sense there's so much iron in at least in this system it's better to 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 mine uh, or it seems to me that it's better to mine the the asteroids than salvaging because salvaging is time consuming I think the best that can happen when you salvage is that you 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 get um, some sub, sub subsystems that's it okay so um, when you see pirates and they're coming uh, to attack a station it's always good to hang around because the um, the defense the station defense will take them out and they usually drop uh, things so yeah you, you you don't even have to engage in in, in combat in order to uh, salvage or uh, in order to, to salvage uh, the, the the wreckage okay so now we are going to the ship uh, yard we need to repair the ship Ah, look, there's something there. Uh, there is some salvage. Let's go for it. So, most probably this was dropped by the uh, pirates when they were destroyed. 
I need that subsystem. I cannot target it, but um, yeah, I will get it. Torre con control, auto torre control uh, subsystem. Yeah, nice. So where are we now? Okay, let's go to the. And what is that? Uh, ah, it's American. So you can communicate with. Uh, you are speaking to the auto automatic integration response system. Yes. So this is uh, um, a mercant that it's um, that drops by and you can trade with him. So we can buy carbon, copper, gems, gold, lead, minerals or raw oil and silicon from him and we can sell him things. I don't have any, th any of the things that he wants. So yeah, this is another thing that you have to be... Um, aware of you can also like um, communicate with other ships to get information about the system they, they give you like useful tips where to find stuff for example or to warn you about certain um, dangers Yeah, so I thought uh, th this game is, um, yeah, it ha it's um, it's been on Steam a long time. I had it in the, in my wish list. I played the demo once, but from the demo, I I didn't really um, get what it was about. Now that I have it, yeah, it, I think it's sometimes you have these demos that are. That are um, outdated, right? And and I got into this Avorian thing just recently. So yeah, you sometimes you don't get to really um, uh, get what a game is about, or, or, or you you don't you don't really get a good experience sometimes when playing demos if they are really outdated and the game has. Um, evolve from there then um, yeah it's better to to play um, the game itself and not the demo to get a good uh, impression of what the game is about so yeah i will repair my ship there uh, there is something wrong with uh, well it's it's there's a, a warning here and it says that my ship is weak compared to other ships in this region. So either I have to um, make it bigger or uh, place more um, weapons on it. But it's really um, at the beginning, since since you're so specialized, it's hard to, to have a ship that is good at mining and fighting at the same time. But this, as you saw, this this um, ship can fight. But I think I can take up one pirate at a time. If 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 there are two pirates uh, fighting me, I doubt that I will make it. And I'm playing in a mode where, yeah, it's um, the, the 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 other ships are comparable to mine. Like it's, um, I think it's veteran mode. I don't like when when the game is very easy or yeah. It depends on the game, but I chose the veteran mode. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to show you is this view. So this this is strategic view, and from here you can um, manage better your um, your fleet. There's. Uh, there's another game that is similar to this one. It's called Void Destroyers. That's also um, a cool game, and it's um, you cannot build your own ships. You all the ships are um, you buy them um, already. 
yeah design uh, you you cannot um i think you you can boost uh, some things you can switch some components like weapons and stuff uh, but basically the the, the, the the whole design is um, is already made so yeah this is this is one thing of, about avorion that i i always like to to design my ships that i really like um, so here in the in this um, how it's called the the, the strategy mode you can see what's in the system right so here we have a metal mine a repair dock a resource depot equip equipment dock and shipyard so if I click there if I click the goods I will see them what they want and why what is the su supply so in this system there's really little supply so um, yeah, this this system is good if um, you you want to sell stuff or you want to upgrade your ship or, or something. So for example, the I think the equipment dock. I think the shipyard and the repair have have uh, equipment that you can buy. Also the equipment dock. And then this is um, you can find crew here. Ah, by the way, I don't have a a captain, so you can hire captains for your ships. And this one doesn't have a, a captain. Uh, and these are the the missions. Lost a friend. This is in the metal, metal mine. Let's see about this lost a friend um, mission. This is in the mining station. Where's the mining station now? So let's see what's what's this mission here. It's difficult. From my good friend, uh, usually she checks in with me regularly. I'm worried that's also uh, the only clue I've got. Is I lost her message that she was on her way to sector three eight nine and two o six. And they will they will pay sixty thousand credits for it. Yeah, why not? For the sake of the video of the episode, I will do this mission. So now you have to go uh, to tactical. No, I think you have to go to the map and see where was that here. Ah, there are two things. One distress signal. Okay, let's let's uh, select this one, and then you enter these um, coordinates into the computer. And now um, you guide the ship in that direction. There we go. I think I have the. The flight assistance, yes. So now we can engage in war. So one is at the distress signal. Uh, I don't know if uh, this. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think that this distress signal belongs to the mission, but it was there because 
frequently you receive uh, distress signals um, randomly but since it happens to be in the way for the other mission then I can just look at it okay so there does there doesn't seem to be anything here oh what is this Ah, this is a factory, okay. Nice. These are factories. So the factories have, in fact, um, things to sell. So this one trades this place. So there would be missions where they ask you to um, buy some, uh, to supply them with some um, particular goods. I remember one of them being this um, uh, this place. And yeah, but you you need to know where to to find the things um, that the that the mission are asking for. Because it it, it happened to me that um, I was accepting missions and I didn't know where to find them and then the mission failed because uh, yeah you have a li limited time to um, to get the resources okay now we have a problem is and the, it, it is that we run out of energy so for some reason yeah so some reason I, I cannot um, yeah since I, I don't have energy I cannot boost the ship and go into hyperspace jump but the other thing I'm seeing is that um, yeah this the ship has so little um, energy and it's like it's uh, it's producing less than it, what it needs it's consuming a lot maybe what's happening is that energy is, is being um, how's it called stored yeah I generate um, one gigawatt uh, but it consumes what well, I generate 1.04 gigawatts and it consumes 1.01 gigawatts so it's really little what, what I have uh, to spare So you see down there the, the bars. So the left, I think the left bar is um, energy, right? So it has energy uh, stored and energy uh, produced. Yeah, I think that that's it. So the yellow one with a little battery sign, that's a energy stored. And the, the one with a small, um, what's it called? The small uh, thunder thingy is, um, is the energy produced. And uh, to the right, uh, I think that that's our hit points. So the ship has certain hit points. When you run out of hit points, then um, yeah, you're screwed. So basically, what we see here is that our ship needs more energy generate generation. It's lacking energy generation. Like it gener it generates. A little bit more than what it consumes and that's not good especially if you are if you want to escape uh, pirates yeah this will be a problem but let's try no I cannot yet so until I have enough energy store I cannot um, jump 
Let's try it now. No. Very little energy um, produced. By the way, this is uh, really um, remote area, I would say. I still don't know when um, I is it possible for me to to jump. I know that I need certain amount of energy. There we go. Energy low. So if we arrive and there are pirates, we're screwed, basically, because our ship generates. Oh yes. That's why it was difficult. So let's go to the map and plot a course in case we need to jump. We will need to because this is full of pirates. So let's um, head to the jumping. So now it becomes a race. So probably we will be um, we will be destroyed before that, before we can jump. So this is a um, this is a shortcoming of this ship. Cannot jump. So there, they're fighting. Okay, let's fight back. We will die fighting, guys. You see, our hit points are going down. Okay, at least one is down. Yeah, we've been destroyed. So once, um, at least we got one of them. So once we are destroyed, um, I have a, 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 a subsystem or um, I don't know, a module that lets me um, recover my ship, I think. Well, let's see. The last time it was like that. But this is why the, the mission was difficult. I, I had, um, yeah, the feeling that we, we would find pirates. And, um, yeah, I cannot handle so, so many pirates. You saw that I was able to um, destroy one of them. So you are destroyed do you want to have your ship towed and reassemble yes look how much it costs now 21,000 so yeah that's a lot of money okay this from the tutorial yeah and, uh, <coughs> I got my ship back, but it's not repaired. You see that um, 
the hit points bar is really low so yeah let's repair it Ah, I don't have enough titanium to repair the ship. Ooh, okay. Oh, that's bad. Okay, so... I cannot uh, repair the ship. <clears throat> so if I enter build mode. Uh, all those parts are missing. So I guess I will. Um, I will replace them with iron for the moment. So I guess that um, I will have to mine some, some, how it's called, some titanium or buy it. Um, so let's, let's place this uh, mirror mode, we have this mirror mode, yeah. And, uh, yeah, smart, this one. So let's rotate it. Ah oh, well, here since we have like the okay, we only need this one. There we go. Ah, but I cannot. Mm. Ah uh, yes, the mirror mode doesn't help here because... What is it? Ah, I need... To, okay... I need to repair, but... Ah, uh, it says that I cannot... You know what, I will have to uh, abandon the ship here and get some... Um, get some titanium so to abandon the ship you just press T uh, no where is it are you what was it now exit into drone now I'm in the drone so I will leave the ship here at the moment and this is the little drone I was um, talking about before and it has this mining laser, so you can always mine. And yeah, basically now I have to look for um, for titanium to be able to uh, repair my ship. Yeah, but this is how it goes. Um, this is how this uh, game. Um, Uh, how how this game is um, the options that that you have right you can always go to the drone and um, also if you have several ships in in your fleet you can switch uh, from ship to ship to control it directly and now I'm not sure where where to find um, Titanium is not so common. So I we receive here a mission. We need nine thousand iron quickly. So.
So we have to deliver it in uh, 30 minutes. 9,000 iron. Well, that's not... We can do that. Let's try to accomplish this mission. Because anyways, we need we need um, titanium. So let's let's try to accomplish this mission. So you see that the small ship really um, is fast to to reduce its speed to come to a halt unlike our previous ship ah but we have we have enough iron we have more than than what they need yeah but it's always good to have extra iron because yeah if we want to build or something but we can we can um, fulfill this So this is iron and titanium it's um, the asteroids have like these um, white veins in them But uh, titanium is not so common. That's the thing. Oh, I forgot that I. Short bursts of subspace signal. I, I, I'm, I'm not sure what this means. Should we look at the map? Is something in the map or what? Or is it in this str strategy mode? Yeah, I'm not sure what what is it. Ah, it's strange. I can I don't see where uh, where do they need the iron. I guess is here. Now oh, there's a captain miner here. Nice. This is Yes, this this is we are here and this is my other ship. Okay. Okay, I think we can fulfill our mission. And this is... If we look at the player... Ah, it's not here. Okay. So, where do we have that? I think it's in the mining, right? Mine. No, what is this? No, I'll trade goods. 
Who is asking for the for the huh? who's asking for the iron? No, I don't know who's asking for iron. Trade goods. So there's no iron here. Oh, okay. Ah, it must be here. More strange obsessions. They are getting stronger. Oh, this doesn't sound good. No. I don't know where this message came from then. <laughs> yeah, sure. Ah, um, probably it's this one. Is it here? Iron. Yeah, here. Yeah, let's sell it. Ah, uh, okay. This is some event. Alien ships. There. Oh, but I, okay. I will go there just to see if I can get some some um, wreckage thing. Ah, but I cannot collect it with this ship. Okay. They were destroyed, and they're aliens. Okay, I think it's part of the lore of this of this uh, of the game. So there are these um, aliens that are um, attacking randomly uh, different parts of the galaxy. Probably we can buy titanium from them. Once we sell the, the iron. And then we can repair the ship. Let's see. The curious thing is that when you uh, when you mine um, ore, your cargo doesn't get uh, filled up. It's like um, there's like this um, I don't know virtual storage where all your ore is kept, and you have access to it um, anywhere. But if you're, for example, um, Salvaging the scrap, the scrap um, does take uh, space in your in your cargo hold, and you you need to have a you are, you need to build um, if you want to to hold cargo, you need to build um, this cargo hold. They are not automatically uh, created when you build a ship. Let's see. By the way, I don't know. Okay, I'm docked. Deliver iron, sell. There we go. 
Oh, that's not bad. I received 124,000 credits. Okay, so I can buy titanium. Ah, they don't have titanium, right? Oh. So if I say 100 and say buy, they don't have in stock zero. Oh, crap. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> but we got a lot of money there. A lot of credits. But now we uh, don't have iron. The thing is, yeah, we will need to find, we will need to find uh, titanium to repair our ship. Now we have uh, almost 2,000 iron. I think we have enough. We don't need that much. So let's see this again. Where is it? The end. Ah, uh, platinum and gold. Okay, yes, from here we can just um, command our fleet. Okay, but don't know really um, where to find. Missing freighters. Ah, there's a mission here. Let's see. Missing freighter. Normal. Investigate missing freighter. Looking for help. Uh, for some time now, freighters taking a certain trade route have been disappearing. We already contacted the authorities, but nothing ever came up. So we're taking matters into our own hands. We need someone brave enough to pose as one of our freighters. And investigate where and how our deliveries have been disappearing. Okay. They pay good money for that, but I need my ship. I cannot accept this mission without my ship. How I will pose as a freighter in this drone? I don't think that's possible. I have to go to other systems. So where is this? Let's see. Let's go to this system. Let's go there. Hyperspace. The good thing about the drone is that it's really fast. So probably probably when you have like this distress signal mission it's better to do it with a scout ship, right? You will have a scout ship and the ship I have is not a scout. It's like a big fat um, ship. Well, it's not that big but you know what I mean. It's not that um, agile. So, and it has this issue with the energy, I have to fix that. It needs to um, generate more energy. 
lots of factories here. They have lots of iron here, but no, yeah, nothing. What else? Let's see. Resource depot screens. What? All of them um, just sell displays. They need glass, microchip plasma coal and semiconductor yeah this is how you would make your <coughs> ah look an explorer captain that's nice how much will he um... I like explorer captain is it expensive to hire him I think trade okay. Do I have to dock to the station to be able to hire someone? Because this is what it says, right? In the resource Flandives. There's a explorer captain. Ah probably I cannot do it with this ship. Oh man. I think I'm gonna do it with this ship because this ship doesn't have um, any um, crew quarters in it. I think that's the, the problem. Okay, so basically I'm uh, still stuck. It's almost as if uh, I need uh, to build an iron ship or something. Yeah, that's another option. To build an iron ship. Because in the meanwhile... I'm just looking for titanium. <laughs> Someone partying there. Okay, so we are stuck now. I think, um, yeah, I will solve my issue with the uh, titanium stuff. And then I shall come back. I don't know. Let's see. Well, um, I will leave it here, guys. <coughs> Hope you enjoyed the... Uh, video and hope to see you in the next one this is cyber settler signing off <laughs>